Hello friends, four players in the Black Stars team has been confirmed injured and will not be part of the team that will be playing against Angola in the second leg. The Black Stars have also safely landed in Angola. I'm going to bring you updates of everything that happened in the camp and what the Black Stars are doing so far as their preparation is concerned. And then we'll come to Ghana and talk about the Black Meteors who went to Algeria. I brought you updates of their game. In this channel, there's the highlighter. So we're going to talk about the Black Meteors. They've arrived in Kumasi. I'm going to bring you details of all the players. And also, we're going to hear from the head coach, Ibrahim Tanko, who spoke after their game. If it's your first time here, please hit on the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. Without wasting much time, let's get straight into today's video. So we're going to start from the camp of the Black Stars. So earlier today, the Ghana Football Association announced on their website that Captain Andre Ayu, Alexander Jiku, Mohamed Salisu, and Dennis Odoi have been excused from the team and they will not be traveling to Angola. As a result of that, it means that Chris Hutin will be traveling with only 21 players and Andre Ayu, Jiku, Salisu, and Dennis Odoi will not be part. During the game, we saw that Jiku went out of the game because of an injury and he was replaced by Joseph Edu. Little did we know that Andrew Ayu also had injury. The Football Association on their website said that Andrew Ayu initially had failed in the dressing room but went ahead to play the game. But they later realized that. Went ahead to be part of the team, warmed up and did, and did everything because we watched him. He did everything but at the end of the day, they've realized that he's really not fit to continue and there's no need risking him. For Dennis Odoi, it's quite surprising because he played in the entire 90 minutes when we played against Angola. But as a player of his age and the kind of pitch we played on at the Barbara Sports Stadium and the intensity and the weather, it's pretty much clear that he may not be able to continue and he may not be able to go to Angola and play with the team. Alexander Jiku, I'm sure you know, he was not fit. For Salisu, he did not even take part in the team that played against Angola. He was literally not even in the squad. He did not dress. Unlike Andrew Ayu, who was part of the squad, but because of an error by Calf and Calf system, Andrew Ayu did not show up on the team sheet. But in principle, he was part of the squad, just that he did not play. So he was literally an unused sub in Chris Hutin's team. For Salisu, he did not even take part at all. He was not, he did not even dress up. For Jiku, he was part of the team, played, but got injured. And the FA has to make sure that he goes back to his club to get fit. For Denis Odoi, same case. And I think that's the right decision because the Black Stars currently need just a draw to qualify because they have seven points and the rest behind them have four four points the black stars just need a single point to qualify to the african cup of nations and going to angola being able to beat them at home they look and looking at the kind of performance that angola showed up in kumase it's obvious that we'd be able to beat them when we face them in angola so there's no need risking andrea Ayu, jiku salisu and dennis order there's no need risking them so i think it's the right decision but now chris Hutin has big decisions to make whether he he's going to play Amate and Joseph Edu because now Joseph Edu happens to be the only center back left in the team and then somehow then uh, Gideon Mensa who once played under Otuado has left center back still on the Black Stars they've arrived safely in, in Angola they arrived they left Kumase uh, today which is Saturday, they left Kumasi Saturday and also arrived in Angola on Saturday because they moved with a, a private jet or a chartered flight, literally from the Air Force base. So they safely arrived, they, they held their famous initiation dance and it was an interesting period. Uh, the mood at camp is quite exciting. That is what we need from the national team. Let's talk about the Black Meteors. So the Black Meteors also arrived in Ghana and an interesting thing that happened is that when they arrived at the Air Force Base, the Black Stars was also leaving Ghana. 
to Angola and they met, they exchanged pleasantry. It was such a brilliant moment, like beautiful moment to have a national team go through that. So the Black Meteors went to Algeria and played 1-1 against Algeria, which was good for them. And now they're going to play the second leg in Kumasi, which is going to happen on Tuesday. The team have arrived in Kumasi safely. They held their first training, literally the recovery session in Kumasi, as well as the Barbara Sports Stadium, where they'll be playing against Algeria. And so after the game, the head coach also spoke, which is uh, Coach Ibrahim Tanko. He believes that the 1-1 draw is good for his team. And he knows that as they are coming to Kumasi to come and play, he believes in the squad, he believes in the players' ability that they'll be able to beat Algeria in Kumasi. Let's listen to him. Yeah, well, I think I'm um, the... Sure. That's the head coach there. He has invited everybody to come support his team. And I think we all need to go and show up, support his team very well, and be part of the squad. So in today's edition, we talked about four players that are out of Chris Hutton's plans for us the second leg of the Angola game is concerned. The Stars are in Angola, Meteors are in Kumase, and then they are preparing to play against Algeria. My name is Lali Frank. Until we meet again, bye-bye for now.